Oh, this gets a bit too deep. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, Tony, you can do it. Be brave. Be brave, be bold. We'll need to have a look at the vitals again in a minute, because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of a lot of poorly people. But that'll be fine. Uh, so um, let's just quickly get this done. And let's just cancel. Let's just nip this off for a minute. So this this bit up here, I've not really decided how to how it's going to work. Um, I think what I will do is just have a pump with a range range sensor, if you like. Um, so again, we'll make it our wolframite so we can actually help with a bit of its cooling. And we'll probably put. Oh, take it easy, nerd. Safe journey home, bud. Much, much love as ever, mate. Much love. Uh, so, we'll do something like... We'll have an AND gate. Um, how do I want to do this? An AND gate there. And this can have a hydro sensor and a thermal sensor. And then another thermal sensor here. And then we will say, only if you and you... And you and you are active. Okay. So this way we can get a really specific range. And that's what I want to do. I want to get this water to like 16 degrees. Or between 18 and 15. I don't know. Something like that. And that should work nicely. Um... I don't need to rush to build these walls now because I've nipped off this wire, so that's fine. Let's get this built. Uh, and again, this is going to need power. That f oh, shit, will it? You are quite right. Quite, quite right. Well spotted. Well spotted. I'm glad you spotted it, because I wouldn't have spotted it until I was about to do the piping. So. This will be fine. Bass up here, holy balls. The base is starving. Uh, let's do some. Do a few digs up here. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Stop eating my oxygen, you jerk. I don't have enough. I don't have enough to go around. Uh, let's get rid of this. For the advice and the ah. amusement. Gee, poor Hill. Thank you very much for the donation, bud. Much, much appreciated. That is very cool. And you're very welcome, mate. Any anything you ever want to ask, 
feel free. Don't ever feel like any question is too newbie or, you know, something that gets asked all the time. Just ask away. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, what are you cooling? Uh, I'm going to be cooling oil. I'm going to be cooling some oil. Right, let me just get in here and do this tile. That should give me a little bit of liquid on here. As long as this ice doesn't freeze it again. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. That little bit of liquid will stop this from stop our gas from escaping up here, um, which is fine for now. This is just the issue, but I might just make him so they don't go through here. Um, they can hop up here, can't they? That's fine. Right. I'm not too worried about the base, honestly. We can get oxygen. I can enable this pump. I can get some oxygen coming into the base. That's fine. I want to pay attention to this and try and get this done before the end. <clears throat> I'm hoping this long-haired bastard gives me um, a normal slipster egg soon. So I don't want to ranch him and wrangle him and... I don't really want to use him for anything. Jesus. Yeah, we have a problem with this. We're not killing off the germs. Germs just don't die off quickly enough in oxygen anymore. It's weird. We've got 40 kilos of oxygen in this chamber. Uh, so it's oxygen to this level. And germs just don't die off very quick anymore. It's actually rising. It could be down to the wheeze warts, I wonder, whether they're circulating germy air. Definitely changed something. When they changed how gas moved, they've definitely changed something with how germs transferred. Because they just don't die off very quick anymore. And that used to be one of the main tips I'd give to people for killing off germs is a high pressure oxygen area. Not anymore. I would not recommend using that at all. Not if you want it done quickly anyway. It kind of sucks. setup and how you manage food would be very interested in it. Uh, PT setup. PT. PT setup. Am I being thick? What does PT stand for? Sorry. Cool down the PO2 to kill them. Um, I might do. We might do like a liquid radiator through here at some point. Oh, power transformers, certainly. Uh, give me one second and I will happily show you, buddy. Abe, hey, come on. There we go. Right. Uh, power transformers. At the moment, we've got two banks in the base, but we're only really using one of them over here. This one's built, but we've not actually connected it up to any main grid yet. But the idea is basically this main wire is the wire that will hold our generator power. So if you look over here, we've got the main wire that holds our hydrogen gens and coal gens at the minute. That's all we're really using at the moment. Um, and then off each, uh, off the heavy watt wire, we branch to the transformer, to the big input. Um, so we've got six of the smaller transformers and three of the bigger ones on each side of the base um, and then we run in small wires off the smaller output and each transformer has its own battery that's kind of important so each transformer has its own battery and is connected with automation so that the batteries can toggle off the transformers when the batteries have enough charge because you might have a circuit that only takes power intermittently say something like massage tables that don't get used for 50 cycles or something. You don't want that transformer to be constantly topping up the battery unless it's needed. So this just lets the batteries discharge slowly. And then when they get to a certain threshold, I normally do it like 20 as the bottom bottom threshold. Uh, it'll charge back up until normally about 85, 90. Um, 
and toggles them off and saves you a bit of heat. And then in each room we've got one Weezwort and as you can see it's keeping it very cool. Um, and then in the hydrogen room I've got two Weezworts in the hydrogen gen room and they're cooling through this heavy watt joint plate they're cooling our coal gens as well. So there you go. Why the different types of transformers? Just because they're new. Basically Dover Beast, yeah. Uh, these ones use normal metal. These ones use refined metal. So I thought, meh, let's do a mix. So my plan for this base is I'm going to do loads of 1K wires into the base. When I get these connected on this side, obviously a lot of the wires will change. And I'll, I'll meet in the middle with a lot of these circuits so it looks a bit prettier down the middle. I kind of want it to look like a bit of a, a gritty, matrixy, interlocking wires. And then the heavy, the conductive wire or the heavier transformers we use for those few bigger circuits that we have like aqua tuners and stuff like that because um, obviously these can now provide far more wattage you can basically provide 4,000 joules with these now so we might even do a heavy watt wire with some of these further down the base as well uh, but yeah that's that's basically transformers in a nutshell mate biggest tip I can give you is spend the metal and connect them with some automation to smart batteries oh I should explain as well on the main circuit on the main wire itself I do have a bank of four batteries on each side. Um, those batteries are my main circuit storage. So when my generators kick on, they'll fill up all of these batteries first that need filling up, as long as the transformer's enabled, and then they'll toggle these batteries full. The reason for that is so that I can use automation on these batteries. So this one here is controlling my coal gens. This one here is controlling my hydrogen gens. This one will be for natural gas. And this one, I don't know what I'll use it for something um, that way I can automate different power grids depending on preference if I've got loads of hydrogen I can use my hydrogen first so I've got loads of coal I can use that if I've got natural gas that goes first you know what I mean so and we, we've done we've done these in the last few playthroughs if you want to go back and look at a previous playthrough you'll see how we normally do power grids I normally do a slight variation but similar similar build we've only got so many tools to use for uh, uh, power grids there are ways of doing it without using heavy watt wire at all. You can do like um, power shutoffs to alternate charge between two batteries um, and completely remove heavy watt wire. There's actually a really good thread on the forums, on the clay forums, about power and um, an electricity guide, if you like. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do it. Kind of works for me. So there you go. Hope that helps. Um, above. Above. Of five <laughs> below 20 16 that should work um, and then this this shut off here needs to be tied to that as well uh, so there's a signal here so I'll do this with a not gate Yeah, we'll do this with a knot gate. In fact, I'll do it through the wall. Why not? Oops. Oopsie. Uh, that should be fine, I think. Yeah, I hope that helps, Hobby. Any questions, mate, just ask. But I hope that explains it. I've not really got my power grid set up properly yet. It's not all finished, so it's kind of a bit in peace at the minute. But hopefully that makes sense. Uh, finally, I've got to finish my farms. Tomorrow, my dupes eat stuffed berries. I think I might promote them all to max now. Nice, Leppy. Nice. Good on you, mate. Are you going to make the berry sludge? Is that the plan? Because I think that's what we'll end up doing. We'll do berry sludge and then keep it in compactors. Not compactors, but receptacles around the base at different points, like near the mess rooms and stuff. I kind of like, kind of like doing that in the game. I plan to do a full playthrough on this one. I want to do a solid playthrough, so... That is the plan. I don't know if I need to invert this, you know. We'll see in a minute. I need this this piping to be done. I'm conscious that I've asked them all to do a load of algae digging urgently. So, can't really ask much more than that at the moment. Uh, Max, you've done all farming. Excellent work, Max. You've done ranching. I doubt it. Oh, fuck's sake. He has done ranching. Holy shit. Really? Huh. Excellent work, Max. You are a hero. Have you done upgraded oh, really Yeah, you must have done. Right. Hmm. Max is a beast. Very good. Uh, mm -mm. Are you saying that you're not on Electrolyze Row 2 yet? No. No, never before. Nope. 
well, sort of, technically we are, I suppose. We do have two outside the base. I've just not got an oxygen set up yet. So we're, we've got two electrolyzers right down here. Uh, but because of how the base has grown a little bit, the gas isn't making its way up here very easily. We're more just oxygenating the asteroid itself. So we've got oxygen everywhere. Um, and little pockets of hydrogen trapped in different places, but no, we're mostly in the center of the base. It's still it's still algae, <laughs> so we've got these uh, the oxidizers still going. Meh, I'm I'm stalling, <laughs> you know. Uh, don't care about the charge loss. Uh, smart batteries barely lose anything, really, hobby. So I wouldn't worry too much. I wouldn't worry too much, mate. But make sure you're using smart batteries, not regular batteries. That makes a big difference. Regular batteries lose a lot of power. Smart batteries, not so much. It's more manageable. Oh, this has got no power anymore. Of course, we're not going to get any oil. Uh, maybe I should connect this up. Actually, I don't care about plastic. We don't need any more plastic at the minute. It is fine. It is fine. Okay. Uh, let's make sure these bits are getting built as well. Oh, they can be reached. And... Yeah, there's a lot of Priority 8, Priority 7 stuff, so I kind of just need to leave my dupes for a bit now. Uh, otherwise, they will they will get nothing done. This is looking good. Probably should get down to here at some point, but I think, honestly, it's all going to be cold enough and refrigerated, so it should be fine. Uh, how are we for stuff? I've been checking stuff really. Coal we're pretty low on. Algae, obviously we're pretty low on. There's plenty of, plenty of um, foodie stuff. So I've not checked my hatches in God knows how long. Oh, Jesus. Hatches are not looking good. Little bastard. We have, we have an intruder. Come here. Um, and then these boys, nine at the minute, but some of these are eggs. So let's kill this stone hatchling egg. Because we'll eat it, and it'll be delicious. I'm sorry, little man. Wrong neighbourhood. Right, let's check our vitals again, because I know I've got people that are scalded and fucked up. So let's just do that. Uh huh. So, uh, what have we got? Nails, May, Turner, Hassan. And Max. Ellie will be fine. Uh, Max, Max, Max. There we go. Those guys can have a little rest. I might stop doing cooking soon, because all these fridges are getting full. We're probably going to start wasting food. Uh, fried mushrooms. Oh, actually, they're sterile, because we've got this little bit of carbon dioxide that's mounting up here. But yeah, we are. We probably need to put the food on hold for a bit. So, let's do that and attempt to the storage. We've got plenty of fried mushrooms. 600 of them. That is fine for a bit. Uh, al algae or el algae. Is that what they call it in American? Algae? Mm -hmm. What's that problem in life? Fertilizer. I need to make some fert since not required dirt. Me and I need to use water sieve, some polluted dirt, to compost into dirt. At the same time, means I need phosphite also for peppers. Meaning, once again, Draco Farm, which determines barn lily for their food. So there's still work to be done. Welcome to Oni, mate. Welcome to end game Oni bases. It's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not pissing away my dirt. I'm certainly not going to feed it to hatches. Like I can't remember who suggested it before, but dirt is a valuable resource, really, because you can only make it in small amounts. So your best bet to keep in it. Keep what you can. Son of a bitch. A slime on here. I should probably do a few digs this way, really, um, so that we can get some CO2 building up on this side. Um, let's, let's see. Let's dig out. Let's dig out this. Kind of been leaving this like hydrogen rich for a while, but yeah, we'll dig it out. 
dig some of this stuff out. Algae. I don't think I've ever heard that pronounced like that before. Algae. LJ. Mm, LJ, I see. Is all your food coming from the one shroom farm? Uh, pretty much. Um, shrooms, a little bit of meat every now and again, although we're not really cooking the meat. We've not cooked any barbecue in a long time. Uh, pretty much mushrooms, mate. We've still got, <laughs> we've still got 171 meal lice, but I think I'm going to just take them out of one of the fridges and let them rot. Um... Where will those meal lice be? They're in here. Mm, no meal lice. There's a bit of fridge space. Nice. Just leave that stuff there. I'll probably move them to another fridge somewhere else. Um, like next to the compost heaps or something and just let them rot. Because I don't really want them. Uh, so let's do that now, actually. Let's put them in a ration box. <laughs> well, I oh, don't have to wait for tomorrow for now. I'll sleep, so good night. Have fun. Take it easy, Leppy. Much, much love, bud. Take it easy. And try and ease off on the, you know, the late night hooker cruises if you can, mate. You will get a name for yourself. Or at least I'll, I'll make a name for you if you, if you keep it up, sir. Take it easy, bud. <clears throat> Oh, it's pronounced algae. Algae! And the critters that will eat them. Uh, I've not got any sage hatches. I don't know what will eat meal lice right now. I'll just let it rot. It's fine. It's, it's, it can rot. And my biggest concern at the minute is how much CO2 we've got at the bottom of the map. Look at it. Another reason to maybe think of getting exosuit sooner. You don't have to deal with this. But, meh. I don't mind a bit of CO2. I don't mind a bit of CO2 at all. Right, I think I can seal this up. I don't think I've left anything out. I probably want to get rid of this pepper. I probably should get rid of this one pepper that's going to troll me. So, let's just do a quick dig here. Because uh, that pepper is definitely going to troll me. It's going to make a stink. It's going to rot. I'm not going to like it. It must go. this. It kind of, it's kind of daft to be cooling something that's open to the elements, but I've got I've got the cooling power, so I might as well. I might just leave it. Why are you still cooling the plastic setup? Um, it's probably because I've left this switch on, Max. That's probably why. It's not exactly using much power. It comes on once every, like, 30 seconds or something. But, yeah, that'll be why. I can't decide whether I want to leave this open or not. <laughs> A part of me wants to leave it open. Tell you what we'll do. Tell you what we'll do. We'll seal it up. And we'll move this stuff, and I'll need to make sure that I reconnect all the stuff that I've just broken. That's fine. And power. Let's put one, I think. Triggered. Are you 
beautiful. And we'll keep some stinky carbon dioxide in there. For good measure. Perfect. That'll work fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Has anyone made a working steam generator yet? Like any volcano or gold guys to even think about. <laughs> We're chung, define working. Uh, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Not working without any exploits. Uh, yes, you can. Totally you can, Hobby. It's just it takes a lot of effort. That's what Wachung is saying. You can make it very easily with exploits. It's too much effort for the gains that you get to do it without exploits. But you can you can totally generate power with a steam turbine just by slapping a team steam turbine over some magma and throwing some water down there. It's just it isn't the best way to do things. Um, they take they take a lot of effort to do, and the returns are just shit. But no, you can do it without exploits. Uh, do, do, do. I suppose at the, at the end of the day, though, again, it depends what people classify as exploits. If you classify door compressors as exploits, I mean, I won't say you're an idiot, but you probably won't enjoy where this game is headed. Because I'm telling you now, there's going to be a lot more of that sort of shit in this game. <laughs> so, but yeah, some people are very cut and dry with what they consider exploits and what they don't. Some people have grey areas. I'm probably one of those with grey areas. If it's an exploit that saves me time on stream, I don't mind doing it. If it's an exploit that breaks the game for a new player, I probably won't advertise it. It's why I don't use bugged electrolyzers, because the people that use bugged electrolyzers that publicly stream are not helping this game. Because they, they lure people into a false sense of security. Um, but certain, certain exploits I don't see too bad. Like, I use overpressurized tanks and stuff like that, and I don't see a problem with that. Because the alternative is building a massive fuck off tank, which just takes time, space. It's not needed. So, yeah. But no, there's definitely working builds. I'm not going to have any water down here by the time this has started pumping, by the way. By the time this has got 20 serious levels, I'm going to have no water. Because all my water is going to change. It's all going to merge. Uh, right, so. Can you explain how you get the cold water to circulate and then leave when it's risen in temperature? Uh, Dover Beast, I can do better than that, mate. Um, if you go to my YouTube, there is a video in the Tips and Tricks playlist. It's called something like My Favourite Electrolyzer Build or something like that. And in that video, I show you exactly how to do it. Um, it's basically uh, sensors, pipe sensors that toggle liquid shutoffs to divert the flow of liquid or not. I'm not going to get time to build one tonight, so I'm probably not going to be able to show you tonight, but it's um, it's easy, mate. You'll like it. It's good. Uh, second pump a bit higher. Second pump a bit higher. What are we talking about? Second. Oh, put this a bit higher. Oh, uh, yeah, that would probably work. That would probably work, actually. Just collect some of this quickly. Yeah, I might do that, actually. That's probably, probably a smart idea. Let's disable this one. We'll slap another one in for now. And we'll collect some of the surface water. If I put this here. We'll put it there. We're still going to get a blend of liquids just because our pumps work, but that'll be fine. I'll try to copy it from a stream, that'd be better. Yeah, totally, mate. The, the, the beauty of the YouTube vids, the reason I do them is so that you can pause it. And I normally give you like quite a quite a lengthy look at the overlays and stuff so that you can pause it and it's not blurry. Because a lot of people are like, here's my overlay, and then they move away straight away. So you try and pause it and the image is all blurry and you can't see any details. So I normally try and give you like still moments so you can take a screen grab or whatever. But yeah. It's dead easy, mate, honestly. Okay, uh, let's turn these off. I don't really want people coming down here sweeping anymore. That should be 
fine. Oh, you bastard. Come back! Right, we have many idle dupes. Um... What could we be doing now? Where could we be digging? What could we be doing? Oh shit, I was meant to be doing this stuff up here, wasn't I? I was meant to be dealing with this. <sighs> this is a mess! <laughs> oh, it's stinky! Oh, this is going to be a big old bitch. This is going to be a big old bitch. Oh... Yeah, I'm not looking at this now. I'm not doing this tonight. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Right, let's see if we can dig out a bit of algae whilst we've got people doing nothing. Um, mm, where should we start digging out? Jeez. I, again, eventually I want to clear out all this crap as we normally do. I want to get rid of as much of this stuff that's around the base as possible. I'm going to rip out all these mushrooms. I don't want these anymore. Um, that is the dream. To tidy up the base as much as we can. So there's as less crap as possible kicking around. That is always the dream. Probably gonna need we're probably gonna need a bigger boat. Probably gonna need a bigger tank. Eventually. Fucking hell, it's a lot of algae down there. I didn't even notice that. Um Yeah, we'll let them dig all that stuff out. Probably dig out some of this crap as well. Uh, This is what we want. This will be good. So this is going to give us our little bit of water that we want. This is going to be predominantly maybe for plants or something in the base. I think having a cool supply of water in the base is going to be nice because our starter water is pretty much pretty much been depleted. That's all the starter water we've got left. And I normally normally would have way more than that. So I'm putting it down to water coolers and stuff like that really. And obviously more research as well. You've got more research to do nowadays. More stuff to do. So that's what I'm putting it down to. So I think having a little pool of water handy in the base for them topping up the water coolers would be a nice little touch as well. I think it'll look sexy. So we'll put a little pool in somewhere. And it'll be nice temperate water. That's the plan anyway. Like already this is cooling down quite well. And the oil's cooling down the pump, which is going to cool down the water. So, I did set this to a thousand. I'm probably going to set this a bit lower. Maybe like. Uh... I should have done some better automation on this, by the way, because this is going to run constantly and I don't want it to. Um, low 800. I may have to break into here. Because I don't want this pump going all the time. Which is what's going to currently happen. This one doesn't matter because this one's going to be backed up. This this pipe here will eventually be backed up full of liquid and that'll be fine. This one will just constantly keep running. So I'm going to have to think of how I do that. Probably some automation off of here. Like this one maybe. Bank. There we go, that's a little bit of cooling. Whew. I cooled it down real fast. Holy shit. 
there we go. And I've got a nice little bit of cooled, uh, cooled liquid. And obviously this is going to do our electrolyzers as well. So it might, might have been a lot of fanning about, but it isn't just for this little pool of liquid. It is going to do us our electrolyzers. So we'll be using this oil for other stuff too. Only a little bit of it, but we'll be using it nonetheless. So yeah, I'll figure out the automation next time, guys. I think that's going to be me done for the night. It is midnight. I've had a good stream. I've enjoyed it very much. Um, let's just do a quick save. Very good. So I'm going to do what I usually do. I've not been to the end screen very much recently. Oh shit, my Streamlabs thing's broken, isn't it? There we go. Maybe that'll work. Um, so yeah, as ever, guys, many, many thanks to my lovely mods. I uh, really is appreciated, guys. I am going to be looking to change up a few things. Credits. I am going to be looking to change up a few things on the stream in the next coming weeks. Uh, there's going to be some changes. Why are my credits not rolling? Um, there are going to be some changes. I've decided... Time is time is now. Um, why is this not working? I think my stream lapse is broken. Anyway, um, you may notice there are some new images and new graphics and stuff coming to the stream. I hope you like them. Um, I'm also going to be doing some work with different emotes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't like change. Oh, come on, Ramsey. Um, thank you very much, Neuro. Um, no more pants. <laughs> no pants. Uh, the subscriber remotes, I will pester the lady, but she is very busy at the moment with work, so I don't want to pester her too much, but we'll um, we'll get those done. I think you'll like them when they're done as well. She showed me a few of the images that she's got in mind. They look really cool. Um, and yeah, I am also going to be updating my schedule slightly. So I previously only streamed on a Friday occasionally. It's now going to be a common thing. So my schedule is going to be from now on, my schedule is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday, Saturday off, Sunday. Okay? That is going to be fixed from here on out now. So I'm going to do five streams a week. I may well do the occasional weekend stream, depending on what the lady's doing. Um, but yeah, we're going a bit bigger on this, guys. So for those of you that haven't already, I'm going to do a little bit of an appeal now. Please do follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and if you can throw me a sub on YouTube, that really is appreciated. The reason I'm saying this, I want to start getting a bit more serious about streaming. Okay? That means the support from you guys is very important now, more than ever. So those of you that have supported me till now, you know who you are. Thank you. Really, really, really. Uh, those of you who have been lurking for a year and have never subscribed or never never given me a follow, please, please, come on. Um, but yeah, it makes it easier for me, guys. I can, I can tweet you. I can send you sub emails. I can do all sorts of stuff. It matters. So yeah. Um, thank you very much everybody. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the follows. Hope you have a lovely evening. Um, and yeah, I will see you tomorrow, 7pm BST, and we're going to smash some more Oni. Much love guys. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.